We begin in China. A new round of judicial reform is underway in China, aimed at tackling injustice and providing a fair, impartial, and balanced legal system. The State Council Information Office is giving a press conference in Beijing on the latest efforts to deepen judicial reform. Let's listen in for a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome you to today's press conference to let you better understand the spirit of the third plenary session of the 18th CPC Central Committee. We have invited to us Mr. Zhao Dacheng, Vice Minister of Justice, who will brief you about reform of judicial administration system and take up your questions related. And we also have uh, Mr. Chen Junshen from the Ministry of Justice as well. Now let me give the floor to Mr. Zhao Dacheng. Ladies and friends from the press, good morning. I am delighted to meet you today. The third plenary session of the 18th CPC Central Committee has drawn worldwide attention. It was just concluded, and it is held at a very important point in China's reform and opening up. The meeting has adopted the decision of the CPC Central Committee on major issues concerning comprehensively deepening reform. It will guide us in comprehensively deepening reform in a new situation. It has laid out a number of important arrangements for reforming the judicial system, including the judicial administration system. And this is of great strategic significance and profound historic significance to comprehensively promoting reform of the judicial system. This also shows that the CPC Central Committee, with Mr. Xi Jinping as the General Secretary, has a far sight and is determined to promote rule of law in China and the legal development in China as well. The judicial administrative organs will act in accordance with the spirit of the plenary session and will make major strides in promoting our reform measures and improve the system of uh, judicial administration. The judicial administration system provides services and guarantees to our country's judicial activities and legal construction. According to the current laws, the system is in charge of the following functions, including law enforcement in prisons, community corrections, resettlement and rehabilitation, people's mediation, legal publicity, lawyers' affairs, community legal services, legal aid, judicial, judicial examination, judicial expertise, and foreign affairs related to judicial assistance. And these are fundamental and uh, long-standing work. Now, a reform has entered a crucial stage of difficult challenges. In recent years, the judicial administration system has undertaken some reforms and has made progress under the guidance of the CPC Central Committee. However, we're still in the preliminary stage of building socialism, and we have started our work just about three decades ago, so we still face some systematic and institutional obstacles and challenges. And these need us to deepen institutional and structural reform with greater courage. The decision adopted by the third plenary session will provide our guidance in some key areas of judicial administration reform. I believe that this will help us to further promoting reform of the judicial administration system. And this 
will give us strong impetus in 